welcome to tonight's episode of Reality's A Moment With Susie. I hope everyone's had a lovely week, as I usually say, and are going to have a lovely weekend. Let me start by saying a big massive thank you to my guests for this evening, Jules the Creative One. Hi Jules, thank you for joining us. Hi Ricky, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And Ola Akane. Ola, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for um, having me here once again. We're also going to have another guest who's going to be joining us by phone, and I'll explain why now. Mm. Um, on today's show, we're going to be talking about online dating, mm. the beauty and the dangers of it. So Greg actually has an online um, dating website, on which I think he operates a lot on Facebook. So he's going to come and talk to us about the safeties of online, online dating. Now, online dating... In the 21st century, it's become a way that a lot of people do date. So it's become quite common, apparently, one in four people mm. actually mm. do online dating. And, you know, it's scary enough looking for love, as it is, you know, all those questions, you know, everything that pops up. Not to talk about going online, and I remember a few years ago, there was um, a story about a Hollywood um, TV producer who actually sued an online dating um, company mm. because they, um, the guy she met on the website sexually assaulted her. Mm. And it turned out to be that the guy was actually a sex offender oh, wow. and they hadn't done the vetting. So, and then also when you think about it, when you meet somebody face to face, you usually know someone that knows them, you know, either work colleague, family, friends. When it's online, you don't know who you are meeting. Yeah. You know, you meet them from what they write. And when you talking to somebody face to face, you can watch their body language. You mm. can watch the way they react to yeah. you. You can mm. see how they're responding to you. Mm. You might see something, you know, a reaction that they do and you're thinking mm -mm, this ain't for me I need to move on but when it's online and it's in cyber world they can say what they want they can say what they mm. want how they want and you don't know and then so I feel that because a lot of people are doing it nowadays and especially with the rise of Facebook and a lot of social medias it's a bit easier I think than just online dating firms but tell me girls have any of you met somebody <laughs> online <laughs> Listen, I'll start, okay. I've met somebody online no, it's before. All right. yeah, we, we don't mind you asking us such yes, questions. Come on, ladies, That's why we are here. We're exactly. we'll talk. Um, do you want to go first, babes? <laughs> um, yeah, online. I've met quite a few people online. Would I date them? Probably not. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I've met a lot. I mean, like you said, rightly said, with with the rise of Facebook, I've met a lot of guys online. Yeah on Facebook and it's always the fact that you know they're a friend of a friend or that we've got mutual friends in in in, in common and so you know you get to meet them and you think yeah they're, they're all right but would I take it further and say that I would date them no no mm, I'm so just not when it comes to online dating I'm just very I'm wary, probably wary and I'm probably set in my ways that no nah, I prefer to meet somebody you know facially I know that you can in Facebook you can you know obviously get after a while you get to meet them and whatever but i just yeah i think i'll just leave it inside okay her. okay so, okay so for for Ju for jules that she a doesn't no. believe in Ola, it um, have you ever met anybody online four actually four. Oh wow <laughs> Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Right, right, hold on. Ella, can I sit yeah, down? Yeah, let me sit down. Yes. Okay, so no, sit down. <laughs> well, let me be honest with you. You see, dating used to be so very easy. Yeah. And then it became so, so hard that you go out with your friends. You know, these friends of ours that we go out to socialize yeah. with. And then you find out that the girls are dancing on their own and the men are just mm. on that side. These are people that you've known for so long. All they need to do is to walk up to you and say, would you like to dance? Or you can take it further from there. But nobody's coming to you. Yeah. So then you think, oh, people are doing this online dating thing. Can I just join in and see how it goes? And then um, my kids suggested it, actually. Oh, your, your yes, kids are yes. suggested. That sounds And then nice. I joined one called Badu. 
And um, to be honest with you, it can be very scary, mm. but you can actually meet very nice people, people as well. Okay. Yeah. So I, the, the, the one that got me really, really scared is a particular guy that um, he got talking to me, we was chatting and I thought... So wait, can, you know, I, can I just stop you there? Honestly, mm. tell me. So, because I've never done this actual mm. online dating mm. thing before. So when you sign up, I know you put your details in it, and the reason why I know is because... I joined Badu, but mm. not for online dating. For I fun. No, no, no. I had a job interview with them. Ah. So I needed to check the, you know, check the website. So now, so you... I just put my up. details in there. Do you tell no. the truth or do you tell Oh, yes. Lies? I went there with the truth, yeah? Okay. And most of them will lie to you, honestly. But all you need to do is to see how they chat. You will be able to know. No, no wait, I'll, I'll wait. So you put your details in, mm -hmm. and then what happens? Do you leave your details there and somebody says hello to you? Or exactly. Or do you go looking for them? Okay, basically, <laughs> you put your details in there, yeah. and then it will, it will, because you're looking for a man. You, it could be a girl looking for a girl, mind you. Anyway. So there's a place where they tell you, what are you looking for, a man okay. or, a, or a female? Yeah. And then you fill all these things in, and then they start to show you the men that are okay. available. Yes, and then you can click on them. You can say yes or no. There's a button where you say this is yes, this is no, or this is for real. I, see, I didn't go that. You can see I didn't, you can see I didn't can, go that you far. Can say this is, you can, there's some that you can actually say this is for real. You know, this is When really, you say for real, you mean I like this person. This is, this is it. This can be my so it's potential. Like, so it's like you have a folder and if you want the person, you put And the then as soon as you click on them, they can get back to you. Some you can send... A message to them straight away. Sometimes I just say, hi, if I think I like this person. <laughs> yes, Susie, I, I have, have loving this. I have done that. And I saw this this this, this particular one and um, he said, oh, um, would you like to talk to me on the phone? Some of them will ask you if you want to Skype with them. You know, do you want to go on Skype? I don't do Skype with them at all. Why not? Um, because I know I should at least that way you can see, see them. the person physically. You see, yeah. the, 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 the thing is, I refuse to give anybody my email address or yeah. this or Facebook address or anything yeah. at all because because of all these um, um not sure who they are. and all that yeah. they can just pick your the, your email address and so on and so forth. So, what I do is I just say hi, how are you? How is it going? And then he said, yeah. Oh, would you like to have my phone number so we can we can say hi to each other, which I did. And then we were saying hello to each other. And he said, oh, have you found anything that you like there so far? And I said, <laughs> no, <laughs> not yet, but I'm still looking. Yeah. Would you like to go on a date with me? Like, have a meal together? And I said, yes, I would love how, to do that, of course. After how long of talking was this? This was about just after one week. Or okay. Only one week of yeah. talking to each other. Of course, who's going to refuse a nice meal? You understand? Why, did he, did he, did, was it somewhere posh? Um, one was a very posh one, very very posh. I loved the food. Oh, it was amazing. I think someone, but the first, the, someone was there for yeah, the food. <laughs> I was I was there for the food because as soon as he said, "Oh, there's a place that Jamie Oliver does this," and I said, "You know what? Count me in, girl." And that I, bill <laughs> is it. I've seen his venue. It is so, expensive. But, but that was a good one. But I'm telling you, there can be scary ones as well. Tell but us about need, a scary one. Yes. Yeah, so when I when I got. He said, oh, would you like me to pick you up? And I said, no, I will meet you wherever you want me to meet you. Yeah. And then I went there and then, oh, hi. You know, I said, well, how would I know it's you when I get... I've seen his picture. Yeah. I asked for his pictures and so on. I try to compare pictures because sometimes you have five photographs of this person and yeah. they're different people. But because, you know, sometimes a black man or a white man... If you're not careful, you might not know that he's the same person or he's not Are the you same serious? person. Yes, yes, they do that. So um, I saw him and I sat down and said, oh, how are you? Oh, you're so beautiful. And I said, thank you very much. And I'm trying to psych. I'm trying to look at this person. Oh, you can have anything you want. And I said, can I? Can I get the menu, please? <laughs> anyway, to cut this story short, yeah. So he said, oh, what has been your bad experiences so far on Badwell? And I said, none so far. And he said, oh, I've had some very bad ones. And I said, like, what? He said, um, some, some supposed to be girl was a yeah. male. Oh, my God. But put a female picture there for him. 
and then he got there and as soon as he got to her house because they were going to go out but he she or she he said <laughs> she said oh bring a bottle of drink in and let's have you know and then as soon as he got upstairs he saw the Adelaide pool and he knew immediately that this is a man. But before he got there with a the wig and everything, and then before he got there, he, she, she, he sent a message to him to say, whatever happens tonight, please, let's just have fun. Whatever you see tonight, please, let's just have fun. But shouldn't that have been a warning sign? I'm sorry, but if I'm going to meet you and I've, I've never met you before, and then you send me a message and say, whatever's going to happen tonight, I'm out men, of men, men, come on. They want to be curious. Oh, so he saw it and then he said, oh, um, can I quickly go to my car? Because I left the bottle of wine in my car. And that was how he <laughs> ran away. He just drove up. So he said that. And I said, oh, that's, that's, that's weird. Anyway, to cut the load. So we, we had say, this meal. Yeah. And then he said to me, oh, this is... So you had your starter. Starter. Your baby. main yeah, course. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. And then he said, oh, there's another one. And I said, which one is that? And he said, um, it was a girl. That actually, no, no, wait, hold on, Ola. This is Ola. a scary one. No, wait, Very Ola. scary. But, Ola, wait, I want to hear about your personal experience, not his. No, 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 Let, that's it, that's it, that's oh, it, that's it, that's, it. that's where we're going in there. Okay. He was trying, to, I think what he, what he is, is that he kind of um, recruits, he goes up to recruit people. Are you serious? Yes. So, um, he gave me his bad experience and then he said, oh, um, are you having fun? And I said, oh, yeah, I enjoy the meal. It's really... Oh, so what do you think about me then? And I said, oh, you're cool. You're all right. Of course, because he wasn't what I was looking for. He wasn't so, when you saw no, him? No, no. Okay. Immediately I saw okay. him. I knew I wasn't going to see him again anyway. Yeah. So he now said um, to me that, um, oh, yes, this girl in in invited me. I said, oh, would you like to come to a party with me? And he said, oh, why not? And then they went to this place. It was a big place, a jacuzzi. He's trying to recruit me, yeah? And he said, okay. he's a jacuzzi, and you will see the high-class girls, you know, like secretaries, like, we in their high heels. No, you mean more like lawyers and that? Yeah, and they, they, they take off their clothes, and what? everybody around there can walk naked. Okay. And then as soon as he got there, he was scared. And he's trying to sell an idea to me. I picked it up immediately. And I said, wow. <laughs> and he said, uh, he said, and he said, oh, you can go into the jacuzzi with your girl. It's it's not something that anybody is ashamed of, or you can invite the other man to join. And I said, wow, more wow. Like I said that. <laughs> and then he said to me, it's not scary. And then he used that word. He said, to be honest with you, it wasn't unpleasant because there were cool people there. You would really enjoy it. Sounds like nice. he was selling it to you. He was selling this idea to me. So wait, know? did he tell you what it was finally? It was a she place is. where all these rich people go for orgies, isn't it? Yeah, really? Is it, it, so sounds, sounds more like swinging. And yeah. Like, yeah. Oh so and I, said, I, said, I said, oh, party. wow. I said, wow. I think I like that. I you told him you liked oh, it? Oh, yes. Excuse me. He's playing a game. I'm playing a game as well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not a baby. <laughs> so I said, oh, that would be nice. So would you like to go? And I said, oh, I think... I would love to. It would be an experience of my lifetime. <laughs> and he said, oh, that's that's nice. Um, I don't know the place again, but I'll ask my friend. I said, you do that. You know, he was just trying to be funny. And then I kept quiet and he said, oh, did I scare you? And I said, scare me? No, a little bit, but not that much. But we'll go. You know, and then he said, would you like dessert? And I said, no, I think I will give that a <laughs> miss. I think miss. you were full after that. I will give that a miss. And then... Um, <laughs> He said, would you like me to would you like me to drop you home? And I said, no. I told you, the first day, we will keep off uh, things like that until yeah. I get to know you, then I can enter your car. Yeah. Oh, and thank God I told my sister where I was going. So if anything happens to me, she knows where to look. <laughs> <laughs> so I picked my bag and I just went home. As soon as I got to the house, I sent a message and I said, uh, you don't like me, do you? And I said, no, I don't like you. <laughs> I said, because I think you're trying to sell an idea to me. And that I'm not into. He said, oh, no, 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 that's not true, you know. And I said, well, that is the truth. But anyway, let's just stop it. Wow. So that is the scariest one. But there are good ones. Because I met John on an online dating and he's still my friend. You know, John so wait, wait, wait. is a fantastic wait. guy. So jo John, is he on Badu as well? He, we, I met John on Badu. And Do you know what? I'm and he's a up, it looks like we've got... He's a fantastic guy. John is a fantastic guy. Look, Susie, do you know what? The funniest part <laughs> of it is that all 
Some married men are there as well, you know. Have you seen your friends there? Wait, hold on. I'm going to say this to you now because now I've never joined. Please do. No, no, no. Join I've never me. joined. No, no. Oh, I've got none either. <laughs> but no, I've never joined. But um, when I got this um, interview with um, Badu and they said to me, um, oh, do you know the website? Obviously, I need to know something about the company. So I went on, I joined, and then I was playing around to see what the functionality was like. And then it gets, if I remember rightly, all of a sudden it shows you a whole load of people that are on the site. And then I was going through and it shows areas as well. And then I saw one of the car wash men in my local car wash. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, and I saw some of my friends on Facebook and I'm yeah. thinking, but he's yeah. married, what's he doing, doing there? there? And then I saw one of my cousins, oh, I rang him up. I was like, hello? And he's like, how did you know I was on it? I, I just pretend as if I don't see them there. But when I went to the car wash, I said to the guy, I saw you on Badu. He's like, what? I said, Badu? Mm. So I don't know what you're talking about. You see, so <laughs> I would, what I would advise people is to keep away from Badu because Badu is so like flooded with all kinds of people. You, as soon as you click and you, they say hi to you and they say, oh, I'm in Afghanistan or I'm in Syria fighting a war and all that, you don't believe all that story. So, Badu is not the best place to go. Right. But there are some places like, like a place called um, Love Straw. How many? Harmony. Where you need to pay. The actually, they actually know the people that come. Badu is free, obviously. You'll find all sorts of people there. But where you have Wait, to pay on, two, three hundred pounds. I'm thinking now because when we started, we started with um, Julie. And I give them Jules, Julie. Yes, yeah, it's Julie. fine. I know you it's love cool. both of them. But you said that you are not into online dating. Mm. And if I was going to even try and attempt you to go on to online dating tonight, I guess Ola has totally scrapped that for you. <laughs> no. Definitely scrapped it. Okay, okay. Can I say, I no, Susie, can I say no, something no. to her? I wouldn't even can think, I, can I say something after listening to, you, to her, I wouldn't even, okay, I wouldn't I even say, dream can I, of can going Can I say there. something to you? Can I say something to you? Can I tell you the difference? Because that is the, that is the experience on Badu. I'm talking about some places where you they, they call love stroke. You see love stroke. <laughs> love stroke the is, name is so <laughs> now hang on a second, I'll explain love stroke to you. No, seriously, you can't find because I know a friend that just got married to somebody he met on love stroke and okay. there's so much in love but with But hold on, when you say that, do you do you really think that there's no one that's got married on Badu before? I there don't must be, know. There must be. There some must nice be. There, there must be. With love stroke, right? When <laughs> they, when, with love stroke, when you're trying, this is what you do with love stroke. Let me tell you what you do with love stroke, darling. When you sign on with them, you Wait. pay. You pay for maybe monthly or something. How much? So I. So basically, I will pay money to meet somebody. This is what you do. Who will probably threaten me, and I just <laughs> no. No, let me let me let me tell you what you do with love. No, just listen. Oh, let me be honest with you. There's nothing you can say. You are not going to sell it to okay, me. Okay, I'm not selling it to you, but I'm just going to tell you what's going to happen. Right, hold on, guys. When wait, they have a restaurant, when they're hold holding a restaurant, then every month they go to different places. You go into the restaurant where they're holding, <laughs> right? And as soon as you come in, you pick up a red straw. That is to say you're single. When you pick up a red straw, right, you go and get a drink, and then the man has a red straw, the woman has a red straw. You look around you, and you see someone that has a red straw that you like. You can walk up to them and say, hi, oh, would you like that. to have forget a drink that. with me? No, hold on a sec, I'll have to forget that. That's forget. a long thing. Uh, that a... Oh, my God. <laughs> <It's> a long <laughs> thing. Well, I'm sorry, I just... <laughs> Um, no, that's just long. <laughs> no, but wait, See, hold, you can hold on a sec. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Can I just say With something? With a red Julie, Yes, I Julie, do. Wait, I wait. just have my dream. Hold on a sec. Julie, you have to um, open yourself up exactly. to do this. Exactly. You, you see, in this day and age that we live in, exactly. it's all about technology. Okay. Yeah? Now, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, just, I know, I sound I so weird so today. My kids so are watching. I, I am so sorry. And I, I told I, them I, all the story. Anyway. Do you know what it is? I, I to, told them what it's all like. I need to apologise, but I just can't get that story of that man and the audio out of my head. <laughs> that, is, that is just Lizzie, totally flawed it for me. My, no, sorry. My kids are like, yes. Do you know what? In this, <laughs> Julie's looking at me. Julie, why are you looking at me like that? 
No, I'm just, I'm just. No, no. I'm do you just, know what I'm, I'm gonna just... say? I'm gonna say this. Do you know what? Okay. Unfortunately, the lives that we live now, we live very busy lives. Mm -hmm. Secondly, what I think is that a lot of people in their forties and their fifties are single. Okay. But and they're not really making attempts. There are mm -hmm. websites that vet people. That's right. And they match people up That's according right. to what you put down as your profile. Yeah, you not? can't verify what someone's writing. But at the end of the day, mm. so long as the person is being vetted and you know that you're not being put with a paedophile, a sex offender, you know, a criminal in any way, then hopefully, you know, you can do it safely. But do you not, do you not, Susie, you, you don't just meet somebody today and then you think you've met your hat's room, have, do you? Well, no, you even face to, to face. And, 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 <laughs> and I, I know, she's so scared, bless her. I'm like, no, let me, let me, you know, you know what? what? No, wait, no, no, let, let, let you know, say well, something. It's, it's not the fact that I'm scared. I just don't feel that I need to go to an online, it's just my own personal opinion. You get what yeah. I'm saying? Mm. I just don't feel that I need to go to an online dating to agency to find a man that's just me and i think for me yes you, you know you hear all the scary stories and like you rightly said facebook has made it a lot easier yeah. now i have a lot of guy guys who are friends on facebook yeah um you know i have got a lot of guys who are friends on facebook and we chat and we you know we chat and we we, we discuss things and what have you not like i said would i take it any further I, I would say no, but then I, but then again, never say never. never you never know what yeah, can never say in never. A few years but time, just, yeah. in, just for me personally, I just, I mean, I just think it's a, like I said, I think it's a long thing. Why would I go pick up a straw, go around, you know? I could go to uh, listen. I could. I mean that straw okay. one. I won't lie to you. Oh, let me let me finish. I could call my friends on Facebook and say, listen, let's go oh, you've here. You've got to pick the straw. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go here, let's go Nando's, or let's go, right. let's, okay. know, let's go okay. to any kind of eatery. Do you know what? I just that don't is something maybe. This is, maybe. Uh, this is a website. L let me tell you something. I'm just trying to explain how these websites that I've been to, how they operate. This particular website, what they do, they call themselves Love Stroke, right? With more than love stuff. <laughs> They've got <laughs> Love Stroke, <laughs> yeah? So, if they have your email address, they send you um, dates of their functions, whereby, in fact, where they have this Single function, nights. the cities, where you will see people just leave offices, they leave their office, maybe and on Wednesday, the and they just places, go to that yeah. particular restaurant, they all sit around there. So what they do is, because that restaurant could be um, hosting married people at that time as well mm -hmm. so all you have to do is just for, for you with a red straw. to know that these are the people that are on block <laughs> that are single you see but i'm I've, sorry i've sorry, been sorry. i've been to it's read that red straw that is doing it's, it. it's fun because rather than me sitting down in the house sometimes like you said you can call your friends and let's go to mr nando's I just thought, you know what? I'm going to go for this red straw. Do you know what, Alan? I got dressed Ola, with no, my friend. You know I'm, I'm going to be honest them. with you here. Please, can you tell me when you're going for the next red straw night? Yes, honestly. I need to see this live. You need to. You need to. Because and then I called my friend, Bambo, and I said, Bambo, let's go for this red straw thing. And she said, why not? <laughs> and she said, why not? And then we dressed up, right? And it, there was one in St. Paul's. And we both went in there. And then the, the red straws were there. And I met, I saw some friends there as well. And Some she, that you know? Yeah. And then she Guys, said... And girls, yeah. any and married then, ones? Okay, oh, see. Mm, then, uh, <laughs> hold on a sec, it seems like we've got a call. Hello, good evening. Yes, hello, this is Greg. Hello? Yes, hello. Hi, is that Greg? Yes, I'm here. Hello, Greg, better late than never. We have just been Sorry. talking. Can you hear me? I can, uh, it's not very clear, but I can hear you, yes. All right, my voice is quite loud, so I try not to shout all the time because it just overshadows everything. But no, Greg, thank you for joining us. Now, like I said to you ladies, Greg um, has just started a um, fbmatchmaking.com site where he is introducing people, aren't you, Greg? That's correct, that's correct. Now, Greg, Thanks for having one, me. Now, I think it's it's something that you have really, you know, it's something that is really good that you have done there because, like I was just saying, a lot of people are separated or divorced and um, they don't seem to be going into relationships anymore. And a lot of people, mm -hmm. 
seem to be lonely. So it's mm -hmm. nice. I think it's a nice thing that you're bringing people together. Right. One of the things I would like you to talk us through is about how people can keep themselves safe when getting involved in online dating. Mm. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, well, it's like what I often uh, publish on website uh, yeah. to our members to let them know that there are some um, dangers involved with uh, with this um, online dating. But relatively, it is just about as dangerous as normal dating, really. It, it's just that people are not used to it. Yeah. Now, um, there are 10 golden tips, safety tips, I uh, recommend to them. Yeah. And number one is mm. um, honesty. You must watch out for honesty when you're dealing with um, your online um, potential partner. Number one, if you do not have a proper picture, the chances are, sorry, hold on a minute. Let me, it seems, hello, are you there? Yeah, we are listening yeah, to you. We are listening, Greg. I, I can hear an echo. That's why I'm trying to stop it. Okay, but can you hear me clearly? I can hear you clearly. Well, I can we can hear, we can hear you very clearly. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. I'll, um, yeah, so a proper picture. If you only got one proper picture, try to see another one. You, you, you're trying to validate that this person is real and uh, Greg, honest. Hold on a sec, Greg. Yeah, maybe if, you do that. Yeah, Greg, so if it's online, for one thing, I'd say, mm -hmm. I want to see more than one picture. Because mm -hmm. I just yeah. feel that in this day and age, if I, if, if I was to go on to online dating and I was dealing with someone, I think I'd like to see mm -hmm. them live. And it's so possible nowadays yeah. because there are so many apps and free ones, for that matter, that allow it. Tango, mm -hmm. Skype, even Facebook has video yeah. in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I hear what you're saying, but I still feel I'd like to see more. More pictures, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, there are 10 of them. Um, but one of them, the first thing is, the first sign you notice of dishonesty, uh, the big that... sign. Sorry, because Greg. When Hold on, Greg, to... Julie would yeah. like to ask you something. Okay. So, Greg, you're talking about the first sign you said um, of honesty. How do you know that person is honest? Um, what if the person's well, a, what if what if that person is a fantastic liar? They do lie well, for a living. Mm -hmm. Like any other person you meet, anyway. Uh, uh, this is how. This is what I advise. The moment you notice you're able to validate once he has lied, he or she has lied once. You can be rest assured that. Almost everything you've been told has a lie in it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. So just one lie is what it takes to know that this person could be a little bit of a liar or a, a profuse liar. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. I, I, yeah. I, 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 you proceed at your own risk, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's just Life another walk once you're dealing with a liar. So, so a that's the first security yeah. tip or safety tip. Okay. I, I, I advise people. Mm. Okay. Number two, uh, or rather, I'll mix number one and two. Number two is take a mostly a proper picture. Number three mm. is you must uh, be able to know at least one other of their friends. Mm. The more people you know of their friends, mm. uh, the better for you. Okay. This is why Facebook is good. In, in my group, uh, Facebook, sorry, um, fbmatchmaker.com we call it a friends-based matchmaking oh. website and the whole idea is that show me your friends and i'll tell you who you are so essentially it's very important that we have a Hold on, Greg. Of, um, that, julie would like to it. ask you another question mm, Greg. Go on, girl. she's ready to tear you apart today go um, on um you know you said you said show me your friends I and i know so. i i totally 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 disagree, disagree with that yeah I know I've got because some um you know oh, what I um i have i would take myself for example i think that i'm a law friend and i think that i'm a good i you know this is just me i think i'm a good person however on mm. facebook i have um 
loads of friends. Loads of friends on Facebook. And some of them, you know, some of them, I even have to ask myself, how did we become friends? <laughs> Seriously, because I'm like, what in the world? How did me and you even hook up? You know, mm -hmm. it's just like, how did that really happen? So that one, so we're throwing that one out the window. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I just, mm -hmm. I don't really believe, don't you know, believe, show me your friends and that show, that. because, you know, your friend, you said, mm -hmm. you can look at somebody and think, mm -hmm. you know, that this person is fantastic and find out that the friends that they keep are just... Exactly. You, you can even nah. introduce somebody to some person and it will not just work it might not work because you know show me your friend Greg, out can of I, the question so Greg, can i say we're gonna throw that one out the window yes we're running out of time well, you'd be surprised guys we've only got 20 minutes left but no mm, can we throw okay. that one out the window what's well, number four i i i no i i'll 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 say i agree with what you said but it, it doesn't work for other people like that okay uh, and it's a we'll time test the uh, one, okay greg greg okay. Number four, yeah. but let yourself rush to a meeting or being harangued on the phone for your phone number. Now, uh, I didn't get that. Sorry, can you, can you say that again, please, Greg? We didn't get that. Never let yourself be rushed to a meeting. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, a first time meeting or being harangued on the phone. Okay. To okay. To give up your phone number. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. This one is uh, this one is a very regular um, occurrence complaint I get from some ladies that okay. um, Can I just some men or some some men are complaining that some women are bothering them for their phone number and they're not that, oh. they're not yet ready for that. Greg, hold on a sec. Okay. I would like to ask you something on um, number four. Greg, you see that about um, telephone number. You see, the mm. earlier to me, the earlier the better, because I've been there. You see, the more you hear about each other talking every day, when you communicate with yourselves every day, you see, because the telephone number you're going to give, you might as well give now, so you know that person. With voice, communication, the way they talk every day, it makes it easier. You so get I, to know the you person. You get to know that person. And if they ask you, let's go for a date, excuse me, is a date? So when you sit down with this person and you're staring into their eyes, you kind of, if you leave it too long, you're just postponing it. You might as well just get it done as soon as possible. <laughs> Honestly, Speak to this person. I've been, there. I've been there. I've been there about four occasions. She's I've, just I've actually, me. I've actually met four people through online dating. To be honest with you, okay, and I'm still way. friendly on. with very one of one of them. Is very very nice person. We still okay. go shopping together, so on and so forth. So, and I'm keeping him as my friend because I like him. Hello. But Greg. others, no good. Okay, Greg, I think we've chucked number four out. The What's number five? No, hold on a minute. On that number we've four, only got, we've only got, alive. Greg, we've only got mm. about 15 minutes left. So if okay, we spend okay, so okay. much time. Uh, I guess later on we could all talk about that. Now, mm -hmm. okay, number five. Follow your God instinct. If you do not feel yeah. comfortable That's a good one. Uh, yeah. with somebody, um, whatever is giving you that, that instinct not to go with it, follow it. Follow it. Uh, well done. I agree with that. that. We agree with follow that. Follow it with reason. One. Number six? Yeah. On your first date, ensure you tell someone else about mm -hmm. the date. Yes. Definitely. Like I did. <laughs> like what she... Did you? <laughs> yes, she I did. did. I told my sister. Told well, I, to um, Allah, <laughs> in Allah's case, Jamie Oliver knew she was there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It was a good meal, though. It was a good meal. And, um, Greg, that's a good one. Number seven? Ensure it is planned for a public place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And well uh, lit. Sorry? Well lit. A well lit area. Mm -hmm. uh, and a well lit area, yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Number, number eight? Ensure you're not on any uh, substance. Uh, what? Alcohol yeah, alcohol. Or, oh, okay. or exactly. Or that's yeah. very them, important. You're straight. Don't get any drunk. So don't allow them to, and don't leave your drink by itself. You get that's me. right. Don't lose your drink. Yeah. Okay. Keep yeah. an eye on it all times. Mm -hmm. uh, number nine. Uh, drive yourself there if you do drive. Yeah. And drive yourself back. Don't so you're in control cars. of transporting yourself and not yeah. relying on mm -hmm. your date. To come and pick you up or mm -hmm. drop you up mm -hmm. and yeah. therefore leaving you stranded. Very good at this, you know. Wow. And num <laughs> number 10. Number 10, let your phone be fully charged and uh, do not be scared to raise the alarm if need be. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. Greg, thank, thank you, you so, so, so much. much. Fantastic. Agree, yeah, we I, really, I agree really with what, like that. I agree with what you've just said. And I guess Allah has actually done uh, quite a few of, mm -hmm, those things. of those things. So, yeah. Greg, can well I ask done, you, Greg. can I ask you one question before you go? Do you think okay. that online dating is going to be the way of dating? Because I think it a is. lot of people are doing it. I think it is. I think a lot of people are doing it underground, but for some reason, they don't, want to, talk don't want to talk about it. I don't know why, but do you think that is the way forward when it comes to dating nowadays? Absolutely. It is the way forward. It is the uh, way forward. Technology is making it the way forward. Yeah. Um, we are being pressed for time uh, on all sides. Uh, and uh, we can only just uh, go along with the flow, which is online dating, instead of yeah. uh, spending Waiting. a lot of time that, uh, that we could rather liberate using the internet. Wow. Uh, when people are resisting it right now uh, to come out yeah. and say, hey, I've got to I don't, go to my Greg, date can online. I, Greg, can I just say to you, I don't think people are resisting it. I think people are hiding it. I think mm -hmm. they are doing it, a lot of but they, like because at the end of the day, it is a multi-billion pound business. So people yeah, are definitely do doing it. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I think they are hiding the fact, for some reason, there still seems to be a stigma attached to it. And I don't know what that is about. Yeah. That's a cultural mm. thing. You see, they, they just yeah. scared that, well, some are really, really ashamed of it to say, oh, I'm on, on website of I'm looking on Badu. for Badu or Love Straw. I tell you, go there. Or you see Harmony. Them. But I'm telling you, Greg, it can oh, be so oh, much fun. I'm going to join up. yours as well, you know. Oh. <laughs> oh. I love experiences, you know. I never, never, <laughs> never, never I'm not so take... I love to take risks. But when I say risks... Ola, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm very careful with all those points that you laid out. Greg... <laughs> Ola, I'm, I'm, going to 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 you. I'm going to introduce you to Greg. Anyway, you'll see him I on know the link. Greg. Oh, Greg. you know him? Oh, I know I Greg know, very know. well. Oh, that's true. You do, I yes. Know. Greg, listen, I've seen it on Facebook, what you do on Facebook, and I think it's really, really fantastic. Kudos to you, yeah, for bringing people Thank together. So because through you, and I've seen some people that they've taken it really, really further in your website. What, they got married? Yes, some people in his... Uh, yeah, they've come he to... He just started test. a few weeks yeah, ago. No, not a few weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it just, no, it wasn't just a few weeks ago, because some few months ago, I saw it on Facebook. Am I right, Greg, or not? You are correct. You're yes. Right, yeah. What, someone and got married? Yes, no, if some of them, there's a particular one that they're actually taking it really, really further. So we, well sorry. done, when like like fair, like like mean? they they're into each other now. A couple so they got married. A, co a couple got married in uh, yeah. September, didn't they? Yeah, exactly. Wow. So put Greg. my name down, Greg. I'll speak to you <laughs> okay, about Ola, it later. Ola, okay, okay. <laughs> Greg, yeah, behave yeah, yourself, you, you, Greg. I will, I will go and talk with you. Yeah, uh, because you know, Greg, on, guys, Greg, guys, you know when we wait, go out, uh, guys, these days, it's Allah, so annoying. They don't come to us Allah anymore. and Greg, hold on a sec. I will link you guys up after the show. Greg, thank you so yes. much and keep on doing what you're doing. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Greg. Yeah. You're, you're so welcome. I, I'm delighted to be on the show. Thank you very much. Good night. Bye, Greg. Good night. Hola. <laughs> How many are you on? Um, then this this particular one, apart from the one I've told you about, <laughs> you know this particular one. I this love. Is, this, I love. Is, this is what they do. This is, yeah. This is a restaurant. They call the Swiss Steaks. You the you also involved in a lot of food. food. Yeah, <laughs> I love food. They call the Swiss Steaks, right? Yeah. And they have they have a branch that is called Close Bar, somewhere in um. Um, Lovett Lane in, in Monument, right? So this one is that what they do is all the singles, they, they walk around there, they're working class guys, they're guys yeah, they're class, well yeah, suited, right, you yeah. love them when the, you see them. They're not just the ones you find on Badu that, you know, like the, like the one you talk to, the car wash guy. Yeah, yeah guy. but this one, you see them just coming out of their office, they pop into to close bar and is there's a setting whereby you just see everybody sitting down and then you can just sit then and when somebody when you there's somebody talking to somebody you wait if you like that what, person, you wait for somebody else to finish yeah you can go just walk in there walk up to that person the drink is there and they say hi my name's oh how are you <laughs> <laughs> 
Susie, you don't know I'm until so you try. No, I'm, and you can meet true. some fantastic. Look, my John is fantastic person. Yeah. He's Irish. He's not caravan Irish. Don't get. I think me wrong. you need to introduce me to John first before. Yes, he's yeah, not. Yeah. He's not. He's not. The only thing that actually. Put me off oh, so there is something. Is the fact that he has a. T I don't like tattoos. Oh, I'm not a tattoo person. Maybe you should do that. Maybe that should be. That should uh, be I'm not. I'm not. And you know what he would say to me? He would say to me that, look, it likes me so much that. He's not rushing me, he's not anything. Sometimes he'll just say, do you want to come to Camden for a drink? And then we go to Camden, we have a drink together. So could you go out with him though? Maybe. Wait, she's on air, that's not maybe fair. Maybe if he did not. No, Susie, come on, know. I will tell no, you. No, I mean, he might be watching and then he'll well, be like, okay, right I might as well. Like, like, <laughs> but what I'm saying is for the tattoo, I have this thing about tattoo. It just puts me off men or not women, well, completely. So every time I see, we're sitting down, we're having a meal or a drink and I see that tattoo, you know, then I asked him a question. I said, John, do you have this tattoo all over your head? <laughs> <laughs> I swear. I said no. No, he doesn't have it said, no. Else. I said, bar. If what? we get on well, do you know what? I'm just gonna write my your name oh, maybe on my tattoo. back or my. Arm. But I thought you didn't like tattoos. He said, if we do. Oh, if you get together, he, will, we, write he will write my name. Oh, how so sweet. And then what's when sweet we... about that? You <laughs> said you don't like tattoos. You're not gonna like that. No, that's how he that's turns the, his back. That's the only thing that actually puts me off this fantastic human being. He's got. We've. I've got him to the stage where I go into his car. That is it. Okay, and so you now feel yes, safe I'm with very him because, safe. Yeah. Okay, we, we could be having a meal, and then his daughter can call and say, "Oh, are you guys having fun?" or oh, things like sweet. that. Very sweet. And he said to me, "Oh, you know what? Well, um, the next time we're going on holiday, would you, would you like to come with us, me and the kids?" And so okay. he, he tells me everything about himself, and I tell him about him. the last time we went to Camden, you know, which was very, very strange. And he bought a jacket, and he said, um, "Would you like one? You can take any one you wanted, oh. you know, or take some scarf." because I know you like scarves and then I have one that I brought here today and he actually bought that scarf for me oh, but for nice. the tattoo so that's what I'm saying is look you don't know listen there is no obligation whatsoever yeah. you mm -hmm. are in control even the man that you know that we meet at the clubhouse all the time could be like you don't a mess know who as they well. are. It's true. So you go even there, they, you even pick the ones you meet in church. You exactly. Don't exactly. Know you who pick. The guys you, know, you have a choice of picking anyone. You see pictures. I love looking at the pictures. I'm clicking. <laughs> I'm clicking. You can start send hello to about hundreds of them. Wait, and wait, then, wait. Hold on. I think there needs to be a cut off point. So not hundreds. Just it's up a to few. you. That's it's a lot. Though. <laughs> I've already got, I've already got a no, lot of weight. I've got, now, I'll just, tell you, you what, Julie, just can I just say something? Julie, when you want to join, join the proper can one, I just not say something? You. I have been this weight for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Now, the day you see me putting on weight, you know what I've done. You're going on online dating? <laughs> <laughs> I've been having loads of Jamie Oliver Mills. You see, like, I sent, like I sent a message out on my Facebook recently. Do you know what happened? I, I read went, that. I went and to that a, was why I asked I you to really come on the show. Yeah. I really felt that because I went to a party, yeah, and then you see there are lovely girls, well read, good girls. And single. From, from good background, single. And there were so many guys there that they've known themselves for 10 years, 20 years. Everybody's hugging. And, oh, hi, she's such a lovely girl. And you can't. Have this lovely girl as a girlfriend. You single, she's single. Why not then? What, what's what's going on here? This is a this is a, a community where we are all friends, and majority of us are all singles, the men and the women. And you can't find a partner within your own friend that you've known for so long. All we do is go out together, we dance, 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 and, dance, then everybody and goes everybody just separately. goes. So why can't we take the phone back home together? Do you understand? So I thought, you know what. Well, I'll leave this ones. I'll go and click on the ones I can actually pull back, <laughs> pull back the strings by I'm sorry, you're still not selling it to me anymore. No, 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 no. Can I say Have something? Have fun. No, no. I'm not doing you. anything. I, do. I, 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 totally, I totally hear you. I hear what you're saying. And, um, but, no. Nah, it's still... No, but Julie, can I say something? And I'm just, not trying to sell it to you. click on it and then I'm not move. trying to sell it to you. you but what I want to say quite clearly is, once you put, once you do the security checks... You're opening yourself to a wider um, atmosphere and mm -hmm. a wider set of people. Mm -hmm. So I really don't see anything wrong with online dating. Mm -hmm. I think that, like I said before, loads of people are already uh, doing definitely. it. Mm -hmm. But 
especially when you come from a country that is quite cultural, like Africa, Asia, mm. a lot of, within our culture, it's not acceptable. Mm. But you do have African websites. You do mm. have, I know mm. there's a Nigerian one, but... There's the Niger- one called Plenty of There's fish. one Nigerian one, but it was full of married men. Plenty of fish. Yeah, the one I heard about one Nigerian one. <laughs> I've seen them of, all. Yeah, it was full of married oh, men. There's one called Plenty of Fish. Plenty of Fish. Yeah. Plenty, what's Plenty of Fish? Plenty, what's Plenty of plenty of fish? There's another one called Nigerian plenty, website. Plenty, Nigerian I think website. Most of them are Jamaicans, I think. Oh my plenty, God. Plenty, plenty of Fish. fish. <laughs> Listen, I know them all. <laughs> See, when I'm at home at nine and I'm not doing anything, <laughs> I click on them and I look, I have my phone. In the process of having my phone, you I'm in control. I'm in control. You know what? What I do like I found my job. She's just... No, 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 yeah. listen, let me tell you something. I have I other friends. For that, but oh, no, yeah. no, I have other friends who do the same thing, who have, why not, if not? Why do you want to stay lonely for the rest of your life? Why do you want to stay lonely for the rest of your life? When we first started, you know, it's, everybody's got their own set, yeah. their own opinion. It's just something that I wouldn't do. Yeah. I'm not, I, like I rightly said, never say never. Yeah. But it's something that As I of now, you wouldn't yeah. do it. But I just, Allah is kind of selling it to you gradually. No, I'm not. Um, no, babes. No, Seriously, she's I'm not. not. Why not? But what, what I'm saying I mean, she's said you, it. She's, she's said a lot of things about it and she's she's made her, she's put her point across. But you're still not interested. But um, no, I'm not. No. I, I've got to be honest with myself. It's not something that I don't think that Should I would. Should I tell you something, Julia? I'm going to be honest book. with you now. I would prefer to meet someone online mm-hmm. and the person is sincere than to meet someone in church and the person turns just, out to just, be yeah. a fake. So, because I just think that sometimes we limit ourselves to where we're going to meet people. But I never and said I think, meet someone No, 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 I'm just saying for okay. myself. And okay. I just think that as human beings, okay. the world is a big place. Okay. Social media has made the world a bigger place. So definitely and beautiful. I think now we can go beyond our comfort zone, beyond our boundaries, and meet people out there mm-hmm. that are nice. From different can, cultures, I think before, this, before this type of dating came into place, it doesn't have to be place, the same culture People like stayed me. within their friends, so they mm-hmm. relied on friends. Mm-hmm. But there's people out there that are not within your friend circle, mm-hmm. and they are the right person to you. Mm-hmm. You know, why limit yourself to Just, who is in that circle? Mm-hmm. What I'll do is, the next red straw... I'm is, thinking about I'm that not, red straw. I'm not... What? I'm not Asking you, we're just gonna do Why don't we girls' just go night. For the sake of we're, it? Do, we're just Come doing on, girls' night. Me and you and her, we're just doing girls' night, right? We're going to have a drink. We'll take some pictures. If you don't want to use red straw, you don't have to use the red straw. Leave, leave the red there, straw. Watch I, me carry my red wait, straw. Wait, I'll ask you something. Are there different color straws or just red ones? Just straws, just red straws. So are then, there no other straws yeah, to say you're no, not single. single? No, then you don't need to carry straws. Don't you don't need to carry. And then, so what we could do, we could go with her. She could carry the straw. And of we'll course, just watch. proudly, proudly. I'll yeah. carry my red straw proudly. And because to be Come honest with you, babes, I'm single, right? Yeah, yeah so you're, exactly. I'm a proud single mother or I'm a grandmother for that matter, okay. right? So. I really want to go out and okay. have fun again and have a relationship. And have a companion and later because, on in life. Because, you know, because I'm not getting the kind of friendship that I want from the group of people that I'm hanging around with. Yeah. And moreover, probably if it breaks with them, I might not be able to associate with them anymore. I want to go out of that circle to go and look for some, especially a different culture. My John is from a different, is an Irish guy. Your John? Yes. You're mm. calling him your John. <laughs> okay. So I see something. Uh, I see something sizzling there. I don't know. I really do like John, and he really likes me as well. It's what just, is holding you back? It's the tattoo. tattoo. It's tattoo. Oh, the tattoo. You see, as soon as I see that tattoo, he is. But then don't forget, it's, if you do get together, he's gonna have another one. Your name, my name. Back. So I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. But, <laughs> that's but that's the that's thing that's is, that's but that's the that's thing because um, and then this thing you can really get addicted to to these things. Because, well, it seems like you have been. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just want to go well, there the ta- again another wait, time. The tattoo, and like, oh, the, the, tattoo, tattoo, the tattoo or the dating. The dating. Yeah, but yeah. You, you you need to be really like careful. No, but so long as you have your boundaries, but then you you are in control. Trust me. I. They're not going to, nobody can hustle me. Nobody can I tell hear me, that, you must see me. My point is, I just don't feel, like, I mean, like, also, you know, you, 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 to, meet, to meet people, do I really have to go to a date? That's, that's, that's my problem. Do I have to go to a Why not? Why I'm not? going to say to you, 
To meet people, to why would To meet people that you, you actually been, have yeah. piqued well, yourself. Is, I, think, I think, you know, I, you've got to look at... I, I mean, I look at different things that I do in terms of, you know... To make new friends, can I ask you a question? To make new friends, do you need to do that on social media? Can't you do it just like you used to do it 20 years ago? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rephrase that statement. To make new friends... Mm -hmm. Do you have to do it on social media? Because, like you said before, you've met a lot of new friends on social media. Yes, I have. Did you have to meet them on social media? Why didn't you meet them within that circle that you are used to? But it's a different thing now. Well, it, you know, first and foremost, it's a different thing now, like, like um, Ola rightly said. Yeah. However, but I have, even with the social media, I still have friends, out, you know, I've met friends outside, outside of social media, also in terms of, what I do, in terms yeah. of what I do for a living, in terms yeah. of where I go, in terms yeah. of... So I've met people, you know, I, I for one, I'm not the typical cultural person, if that makes any sense. Yeah. So on social media... So you don't restrict yeah, yourself. Yeah, so on social media, I've met a lot of people in my own culture, in my own... Do you understand what that I'm saying? That you wouldn't have known if that not I would social have, Yeah, media. if not for social That's media. That's what I'm saying to you now. But, you but outside of social media, yeah. I've met people that probably you wouldn't, I probably wouldn't be associated with, if you get yes. what I'm saying, in terms that's of, what I'm because saying they're different now, cultures. I'm trying to convert you here. Yeah. No, 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 don't <laughs> convert. <laughs> is not don't worry, what we will we'll do is, I think, like I, said, I think because of I where will, I am, please. and where, what I do for yeah. living and stuff like that, mm. so I get to meet, obviously, you know, um, I get to meet a lot of people, yeah. um, you know, and like I've said, like I said to you before, because I've just changed into aviation, so I get to meet a lot of people anyway. Yeah. So for me, um, I just don't feel that I need to go on online. Because, I, didn't, I didn't think you that know, as well. I didn't but, feel like that. But like I, can I just until I just it? sat down there and I'm still waiting, I'm waiting, and nobody is talking to me. So I thought, you know what, about her. time I go I look her. for I my her. own Honestly. thing. It's true. About but time I go look for my own thing. People, yeah. people come on, on, on Facebook and they inbox you and say, hey, babe, yeah, yeah show what, and all that. They wanna... And they do it inbox because they don't want yeah, anyone else to know. To know that oh, no, oh, no, no, no. If they don't yeah. inbox you, or they put you, or they do it on Messenger. And yeah, they're like, I don't hey, even babes. have Messenger. Yeah. And they do it. They, they send they, me they inbox. Oh, you know what? I just like you. I just like to see you. You these, you that. And I just ignore them. And then you don't think that. Because I, I, I don't. Said, wait, I said to one guy before. Friends to friends to friends. I had this poem that he inboxed me oh, and I said to him babes how about you put the poem on my wall and not my inbox fantastic any but yeah, you I think you ain't, you ain't dropping those poems on my inbox oh, you that know. so I decided you know what I'm just going to go and look for something that I read actually I pick myself that I like and I want you know and then you know I started to I started with them um, uh, love stroke I went on to bad you and then Amini Amini and so oh my and god so is there anyone you haven't touched well just to see the varieties <laughs> and see what's actually going on and I, I don't blame you so you know what I don't girls you. this is a date the next love stroke we are going you know we don't have to carry a red straw no just leave me to my red straw I'm okay. comfortable with my red okay. straw and then you're dancing beautiful music, beautiful scenario. The people you Is see. Is it dark there. or light? It's not. It's not. It's not dark. It's just like a restaurant. You okay, know? it's not a nightclub or something. It's, it's a restaurant. It can be a nightclub, okay. but okay. it's a restaurant. Guys, you guess can be what? there till ten. Ten, they finish at ten at night. So okay. we're dancing. We're dancing. You see, everybody's going to She's meet people. Meeting. I'll tell you what. I'll be walking up, making sure no one is following me. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Because no, that's but ladies, proper. guess what? We have. Three minutes, two oh, minutes left, fantastic. guys. Two I minutes. Really have I hope you, I've really enjoyed this actually. This but dramatic. just before we go, I know what Ola's stands. But no, could you say something? Could we say something quickly about online dating, Julie? Oh, um, we have not been able to me. convert you, nope. but you are going to at least give it a try. So that you're well, going to go to I'm love not shop. Yeah, I'm going to go to love shop with you guys. <laughs> yes. Um, give it a try. No, mm. we'll see. No, we'll leave that hanging, but um, we'll and I will not be carrying a red straw, okay? Um, Ola, you have oh my god, you have do you know what? I've actually enjoyed your presence today because I love it when people mm -hmm. you know are open and honest. I'm not, not that I'm saying that you're not open, and honest. <laughs> I'm, no, just no, being, no. I'm just no, being no, no. but yes. you know, yes. there's a side of us sometimes that we hold back and we don't. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, we don't reveal mm -hmm. it. And it's nice because I think that there are so many people out there that either want to do it or do it, but are keeping. And I'm hoping from watching this show, they will feel encouraged and realise 
there's nothing wrong with online dating. Yes. The only thing about online dating is Just that you keep fun. yourself safe. Mm -hmm. You put your boundaries in place. You make keep sure to you them. Are, make yeah. sure you are in control. Make sure you are in control. A friend of mine that we started together, his name is Saul, and he met on uh, with um, them. Oh, we've got one minute um, left. Yes, with them, um, Love Straw. And he met Honey. The girl's name is Honey as well. So Honey. And then both of them got married last year it was fantastic i went for their wedding and it was beautiful and when they were doing the presentation they were talking about me, and he was waving to me say oh and all that we started this love struck thing and have you found somebody else yet and i, I said no so anyway i'm happy you oh, guys are coming you, with me so no, at least no. now we're it's friends we can you. go there and then see what's going on and maybe we can come back again together yes, and, and, and do a part two and do a part two i think i'll take i'll take oh no Ola. Thank you so, so much. And do you know what? I think I'm going to take my camera one. Can we take cameras there and film stuff? Yeah, yes. yes. Yeah, I think I'll take my camera there. But no, guys, I have had fun. I've guys, had fun. I hope I've you had have fun. had fun. Had fun. Thank, Thank you, you so, Thank so you, much. Viewers. Guys, Thank you, Phil. don't forget, feel comfortable to go outside your comfort zone. Please. And if you're already doing it, feel comfortable to talk about it. Because at the end of the day, you, the more people that know, the safer you are. Thank yes, you so, true. so much for joining us. And we'll see you same time, same place next week. Good night. Badu Magazine, Africa's number one magazine with the best entertainment in the UK. Essential information on business opportunities, latest happening in the entertainment scenes, student parties, house of worship conferences, and much more. For advert placement and business listings, we are equally your number one. Get your copy now at our website at badumagazine.com and various outlets in and around Nigeria, UK, USA, and Canada. Bedou ni hello, Bedou magazine, Bedou ni hello.